They have only been dating for a few months but have already tied the knot. On Tuesday, Amy Schumer married farmer turned chef Chris Fisher. TWO days later, the 36 year old comedian shared photos from the nuptials, where she looked lovely in a white Monique Lulier dress with spaghetti straps as she held hands with her love, who was dapper in a dark suit and tie. They wed at a rented home in Malibu in front of 80 people, including Jennifer Aniston, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jennifer Lawrence, Larry David, Judd Apatow, Chelsea Handler and David Spade. Soon after news broke there was speculation she could be with child, but the train wreck star took to social media to deny she was pregnant. The star pulled her blonde hair back and left stray strands coming down around her shoulders. The inside Amy Schumer star wore little to no jewelry and her wedding rings could not be seen. The Blast reported that the couple wrote their own vows, which were hilarious, and guests were told not to post any photos on social media. The site also claimed Jerry Seinfeld was there too. Us Weekly was first to break the news. Amy also shared images of some of her wedding party which included her sister Kim Caramel and her father Gordon. Lawrence looked lovely in a pink dress with a black belt and choker in her hair back. She was seen kissing Amy on the cheek. There were also images of her at the altar with Chris as well as their two small black dogs. And Chris posed with two men as well as Yelenhold.amy took to Instagram to not only share the wedding photos on Thursday, but also to send a message. No, I'm not pregnant, she began. And no gifts put the new for asking. She then hit a more serious tone, instead, please consider a donation to every town for gun safety. Thought of Mason Jillian a lot yesterday and sending love to everyone who has been affected by gun violence. She was also seen inside the wedding with a light cardigan on as she stood next to her new husband while holding a glass of white wine, and there were photos of her not only dancing with Chris but also her father Gordon to the song Hearts and Thoughts. Later on Thursday the star added even more photos to Instagram.her caption read, Thanks for these pics at Marcus Russell Chris, and thank you at Gaia Siri for always being there, and at Bridge Teverett for singing your heart out. Gaia Siri is a talent manager who has worked with Madonna and Ashton Kutcher. The new images included a touching photo with her father, an image of her dog, and Amy with some female friends. There was also an aerial view of her wedding ceremony which was just feet from a rocky coastline. Amy and Chris could be seen standing face to face as her guests sat in chairs and a soda. Amy's wedding comes only days after she was seen kissing the beat loving farm cookbook author, 37, at Ellen DeGeneres' 60th birthday party over the weekend.
she had his arms around him as they locked lips for the photo booth. It was the first time they had gone public with their relationship. Also at the bash were Kim Kardashian with Kanye West and Chrissy Teigen with John Legend. On Thursday the lovebirds were spied leaving a building in Beverly Hills side by side. The funny lady appeared to have just left a workout session when she was seen with the dashing man. She also held on to her black dog. The stand up comedian did not have an engagement ring on. That same day she was at the dentist, which she wrote about on Instagram. Just got photographed leaving the dentist. Left side full of Novocaine. Number a feel pretty, she said. Before that, the movie star and the cook were seen arriving at NBC Studios in New York City to watch Saturday Night Live in January. They were also there to support friend Jessica Chaston who was on the show. But they arrived and left separately, so they could not be photographed with each other. In November the actress was photographed on a romantic date with Fisher, who is reported to be her assistant's brother. The two sipped glasses of wine and chatted intently, gazing into one another's eyes as they enjoyed a cozy night. Fisher is the first man Amy has dated since she split from Ben Hanish in May after 18 months. The comedian previously admitted Ben who she met on a dating app was the perfect man for her as he wasn't phased by her celebrity status. That's something that Fisher a good friend of Jake Gyllenhaal should also be able to handle. And like furniture maker Ben, it seems Amy's new man is good with his hands. Having made a name for himself at Mario Batali's upmarket Babbo in Manhattan and the famed River Cafe in London, Chris gave up his city life to take over the family farm in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. He wrote his critically acclaimed Beat Living Farm cookbook while working at New England farm to table restaurant Beach Plum, named as a favorite of Barack and Michelle Obama in 2013. Chris took over Beat Living in 2010 from his Aunt Marie and his grandmother, who still owns the farm at the age of 102. According to his website, Ben's grandparents Regina and Ozzy founded the five-acre Beat Living farm in 1961. The two raised their four children there while farming cows and growing vegetables and flowers they sold on a farm stand. His Instagram feed shows his idyllic life, featuring plenty of moody shots of the countryside, beautifully plated vegetable-rich meals, and family photos. And Chris sure seems to be living the good life. I am an interview last year he talked of his annual Thanksgiving celebration with friends. It's a whole day spent cooking and takes a big effort to clean up the next day, 
But this work adds seasoning to our appetites, he said. The festivities are always great with friends huddling around the fires to stay warm deep into the night, and as usual, I was too busy hosting and organizing to eat a proper meal on the night of the party. This year, I took home the tender boiled meats and ate them alone in my living room the following night, in front of my fire, having said goodbye to all those who made the trip. Also last week the first trailer for Amy's movie I Feel Pretty was released. The comedy is about an insecure woman who thinks she's a supermodel after falling and hitting her head during a spinning session. Amy looked fantastic as she danced around on stage, not only twerking, but also throwing beer on her chest. Amy is supposed to be a less attractive girl in the movie, but in the scene she looks to be in great shape. At one point she shows off abs as she does her moves in a white top and red shorts. The clip begins with her saying in voiceover that only the pretty girls get noticed 